the new pony. This is an apple tree farm. This is Mrs. Boot the farmer. She has two children called Poppy and Sam and a dog called Rusty. Mr. Boot, Poppy and Sam go for a walk. They see a new pony. She belongs to Mr. Stone who just bought Old Gate Farm, says Mr. Boot. The pony looks sad. Her coat is rough and dirty. She looks hungry. It looks as though no one takes care of her. Poppy tries to stroke the pony. She is not very friendly, says Sam. Mr. Stone says she is bad-tempered, says Mr. Boat. Poppy feeds the pony. Every day, Poppy takes her apples and carrots, but she always trees on the other side of the gate. One day, Poppy takes Sam with her. They cannot see the pony anywhere. The field looks empty. Where is she? says Sam. Poppy and Sam open the gate. Rusty runs into the field. Poppy and Sam are a bit scared. We must find the pony, says Poppy. There she is, says Sam. The pony has caught her head collar in the fence. She has been eating the grass on the other side. Poppy and Sam run home to Mr. Boot. Please come and help us, Dad, says Poppy. The pony is caught in the fence. She will hurt herself. Mr. Boot walks up to the pony. He unhooks the pony's head collar from the fence. She is not hurt, says Mr. Boot. The pony is chasing us. Quick, run, says Sam. It's all right, says Poppy, patting the pony. She just wants to be friends. They see an angry man. It is Mr. Stone. The pony is afraid of Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone tries to hit the pony with a stick. I am going to get rid of this nasty animal, he says. Poppy grabs his arm. You mustn't hit the pony, she cries. Come on, Poppy, says Mr. Boot. Let's go home. Next day, there's a surprise for Poppy. The pony is at Apple Tree Farm. We have bought her for you, says Mr. Boot. Thank you, says Poppy. The end. If you love my story, please do subscribe. And I will be back next week with a new story. Till then, bye-bye.